Hey YouTube family, so good to see all of you and I hope you're doing well. The purpose of this channel is to fan the flame in word and worship. If you're new to this, would you please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it out with your friends. It will help me so much. It's my hope to produce good Christian content for you. I want to start on something new and for the next series of videos, I want to talk about the parables of Jesus. So today's first session, we're going to talk about what is the purpose of the parables and Jesus actually explained what the purpose is. So um, the passage is found in Matthew 13, beginning at verse 10. Then the disciples came and said to Jesus, why do you speak to them in parables? So they asked the question to Jesus, we want to understand why are you teaching the crowd, the people that come and hear your message? Why do you tell them stories and in parable form? And Jesus replied, verse 11, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. Such an, a peculiar answer. Jesus explained, the reason why I speak the parables is this. For my disciples, I'm going to give you the secrets behind the parables. I'm going to unveil and reveal what the parables are all about. But to those not in the kingdom of God, the parables will be stories. And when they hear the stories, they will not get the real meaning of it. It will be obscure. It might seem like allegory, um, examples, interesting fables. But they can't extract the real depth of the parable itself. In verse 12, Jesus says, For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. So he's saying, hey, if anyone is a believer in me, if anyone is a disciple that follows me and walks in righteousness in my kingdom, I'm going to give them much more. They're going to inherit much more. There will be an abundance of what they understand and the jewels and the treasures and the secrets on the hearts of God. They will understand. But to those that do not understand, to those that the parables are a hidden veil, even what they have will be taken away. Now that's really frightening. On one side, it's, it's an honor given to those that belong to the Lord. But there's a dishonor that will be given to those that do not belong to Christ. In verse 13, Jesus continues, This is why I speak to them in parables. Because seeing, they do not see. Hearing, they do not hear, nor do they understand. Wow. Let's pause here. So in verse 13, Jesus says, When they hear the parables, when people that are not my followers hear the parables, it's going to go past them. They will hear it, but not really hear. They will see it, but not really see. They will kind of try to apprehend it or be comprehending the, the, the text, but not truly have an epiphany of understanding. I'm not sure about you, but that is really quite jarring. And the first time when I understood this, it really jarred my spirit in the sense that we all have this assumption that Jesus is here to tell us things and everyone is going to just readily accept and understand. Not at all the case. There will be many that will hear the exact same story of the Bible as you and yet there will be a veil over their face. They will not comprehend it. They will not accept it. They will not believe it. They will not place faith in the God of the biblical text. Hopefully, if you're hearing this, you are a Christian or at least someone that truly wants to follow Christ. And if that's the case, the beauty is when you hear the parables of Jesus, if you belong to the Lord, you will understand it. Maybe not in its full holistic sense, but there will be comprehension that comes into your, to your soul. But if you don't belong to the Lord, the parables of Christ will confuse you and it will not make much eternal sense to you. And that's Jesus, there's a brilliance here, right? He tells these wonderful parables that only the disciples will be able to extract the secrets from. And to others, when they hear it, it is just a blend fog. So you have to decide, 
do you want to follow the Lord? If you say, I want to follow Christ, then as you ask the Lord for wisdom, as you pursue Christ, the parables will be opened up to you and the multiful wisdom of God revealed in the parables can be unleashed in your direction. Verse 14. Indeed, in their case, this, this is talking about those that are not part of the kingdom. The prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, You will indeed hear but never understand. You will indeed see but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. So Jesus is saying that these parables are given by God. And even in Isaiah's day, it has been said. It's like a prophetic word that has been uttered. And it's true in Jesus' day as well. It's also true in our day in the sense that when people hear the stories of the Bible, the parables of Christ, for many people, they might hear it from a historical lens, some form of daily practice aspect, some form of moral to the story, but not life and death. They wouldn't hear it as spiritual nuggets of truth. They wouldn't hear it as treasure of heaven. So that's the big contrast. Everyone can come up with a so-called moral of the story, right? You could take something and you can craft out your own moral of the story. But when it comes to the Lord's wisdom and the Lord's manifold wisdom to us, uh, it has to be first received by anyone who truly places faith in Christ. So when you place faith in Christ, saving faith in Christ, and the Lord saves you, you begin to unfold all these wonderful truths. So there's a two side to the purposes of the parables. On one hand, it really unveils the secrets of God to the believers. On the other hand, the parables are said so that it obscures the truth of it to the views of those who will not place faith in Christ. How amazing is that? And two more verses, and we're close. Verse 16, But blessed are your eyes, talking to the disciples, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Jesus is making reference that in the Old Testament, a lot of the prophets did receive the understanding that a Messiah would come later on. And of course, they longed to see the Messiah, but in their lifetime, it did not happen. So all of them passed away. And then after the book of Malachi, you have, of course, a forward year gap period of silence, so to speak. And then, of course, the Gospels show us Christ entering into the scene, Jesus entering into the scene. So Jesus is saying, you know, there were many righteous people in the past that longed to see what you see and longed to hear what you hear. They, they did not. They were hopeful. They were waiting for the coming Messiah. But isn't it a great thing as we close? Isn't it a great thing that Jesus is saying, if you are my disciples, if you belong to me, if you believe the cross, if you believe the gospel, the secrets of heaven will be unlocked for you. You will get it. You will understand it. You will grow in it. Isn't it a wonderful thing? You might say, but pastor, I don't quite understand the parables. Well, only two possibilities. One, you haven't prayed for understanding. Or two, perhaps you're still outside of the kingdom of God. And you really need to be part of the kingdom by asking the Lord to not only forgive you and cleanse you of your sins, but granting you genuine faith to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, with that, I'm so thankful. This is kind of part one on the parables and the future videos. I will do way more different videos on each parable. I hope it will be a blessing to you. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Well, God bless you richly. God bless.